Good morning. Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 30th of October. We're on the eve of Halloween, guys, and I am shooting this in my lounge room because now my daughter's tidying up her room and it's extremely windy outside today, so we can't shoot outside. So I've got Spocket down here snoring. He's still not 100%, guys. And I've got Sophie down here. You there, Sophie? You there? Wagging her tail. Um, cheers, everybody. I've bought a cup of tea. Welcome anybody new to. I've got a lot of new subscribers, which is very exciting on my channel. Um, I have bought along some cards as well, so we can also do that too, guys. Now, first up, a little bit of admin from down under. Of course, we have a little bit of admin. Um, I told you I was going to watch that 60-minute show last night, guys. And do you remember, it was probably about a year ago or more, I was talking to you guys, and I'd say probably a couple of times I've talked about the um, sand mining and sand, and it was the black sand, the dark sand I kept seeing, and I kept mentioning like Fraser Island and different areas. Um, well, guess what? Last night on 60 Minutes, they had apparently in Western Australia in Perth, um, which is the opposite side from where I live in Australia is called the Sandy Moonscape and they're talking about the rare earths which are the heavy metal minerals that Australia has um, and it's worth over a billion dollars like so it's worth a lot of money um, it, and it's apparently it's critical to making missiles and fighter jets well this is what they were saying anyway apparently so that's a pretty decent commodity to trade with isn't it guys so I've had to use a different light in here because it was just too glary with the curtains open behind me so I've put my little lamp on so you can see me um, and apparently Australia has twice the amount as China which I'm guessing makes us um, very important to China. And we all know that Elbow's meeting Xi Ping as we speak, probably. He was heading to China after America. Um, at the moment, China controls the supply chain because they have a certain amount as well. And China won't send um, these rare earths to anyone who's not on board with like their agenda and with, with them. Um, and Elbow has also loaned um, $1.25 billion to a company. Aluka is the company that owns this Red Earth um, mine to build a refinery outside of Asia. So Elbow is paying for that to happen. Um, they also stated that China won't sell any of this to Japan. They refuse to sell these to Japan. And basically, China won't sell to anyone it doesn't trust. So China isn't controlling everything. Um, China wants to s control the supply chain, basically. So we've been saying that here forever. China's the threat. I was talking about them all in the swimming pool yesterday, and China was the light lifeguard going to save everyone. Um, and they also said that China's already started to cut off some supplies of... There's this material called... Gem germanium 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 that's probably sounds right and it's used to make night vision goggles and things like this so it's pretty important um they've already cut off their supply to a lot of people a lot of countries rather um and elbow has six billion dollar in loan six billion in loans now to make australia um a rare earth supplier rare earth supplier meaning these rare earth minerals Is that what, yeah the rare earth minerals um and they said that they're trying to get uk australia's trying to get uk and america on side because it puts us in a good position against china so you know how much of that's true or not but i thought the sand thing was very interesting the rare earth minerals guys because i've been talking about that dark sand here for quite a while now haven't i and finally we now understand what it's all about uh, all right how about it close my eyes guys we'll get straight into the reading and we'll see what comes up well i'm getting now people are walking the fine line this is everyone globally people are walking the fine line now the tight rope they're walking the tight rope edge now um oh, it's a matter of just staying on the tight rope or falling 
That's what I'm getting for people now. This is financially. They're financially starting to fall. Um, and if they do fall, I'm just getting shown that people can't get back up. If people fall off that tightrope, they can't get back up. They're financially ruined. Um, oh, this is terrible, the way the finances is going. But that's what I'm getting. People are walking a fine line on the tightrope now. Probably not us, guys. Um, we've seen this coming for a while. We were able to prepare ourselves, a lot of us here on this channel, but a lot of people who didn't see it coming have been caught off guard. Now they're walking the fine line. And they're exhausted from this too because people, you've got to remember, people have been scrambling doing this for probably six months now trying to keep themselves afloat and now they're financially just going to start to fall. It's saying people are going to start dropping like flies off this tightrope. Oh, it's awful, isn't it? And, and it's finance. It's about finance. All right. Um, I'm getting for us guys that we're making good movement forward. We're... Um, we're rolling along at a nice pace now. We're starting to move forward. I said it yesterday through into this 5D realm. We're starting to um, embrace it more. It's showing me like a little steamroller. You know how a steamroller rolls along really slowly and gets everything nice and smooth? It's like we're smoothing our path out. This is what I'm getting for you guys watching my channel. We've been through our awakening process in our dark nights through the soul, our depression, our things that have woken us up, our traumas or whatever. And now we're starting to move forward again. Um, I said a few weeks ago, was it like we were like idling? I think it was um, like a car idling, like boom, 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 boom. But now we're starting to move forward like the steamroller, but it's nice and smooth for us. It's a nice, smooth ride forward now. Um, we don't, what the guides are saying, we don't have to force anything. Just allow everything to unfold. And that's why we're getting that steamroller energy because it just comes along and it can just push over things and just clear the path nice and smoothly. Um, that's what we're going to start going through now, a much smoother path, guys. And I think it will be because I think the fact also that people have also woken up over here that are now starting to see the truths and are coming into their own strength and power to fight government I think it's going to take a lot of, sorry, guys, oh, it's been exhausting, a lot of the weight and pressure off us. We're not the only ones who are seeing the truth, like who have seen the truth now. There's a lot more people starting to stand up, fight back, um, and have more awarenesses of what's actually currently going on and being dished out to them. For example, the UK, sushi in the UK, people are awake up to him now. Because he pushed too hard. He went too hard and people didn't want it. They don't want it. And why should people sit back and just take it? Just because they didn't see it coming, it still doesn't mean that they want it. They don't want it, guys. It's good. All right. So just keep steamrolling, just nice and smoothly. Keep moving forward, guys. Do whatever you can. Keep moving your life forward. Again, it's about listening to your intuition, expanding, growing, doing the things that um, nurture us and keep us happy and whole. That's what I'm getting for us. All right. I'm getting Germany. We've had so much Germany. I am getting that Germany people are running scared from their government. They don't like what's going on over there. I told you they were starting to build that little Berlin Wall up a little bit the other day. Division in society again. I feel like people are running from their government. They don't like what's going on. And that's a good thing. Because it means if people are running that way, they're not complying and doing what they're asked to, to do. Um, so we'll take that as a positive tick, guys, that people in Germany are going the other way. Maybe they're veering off the road now and taking a detour from their government. That's what I'm getting in Germany. It's good. I'm getting London. Hmm. I'm getting I'm getting the word rigid energy. I'm getting very rigid energy in London. 
This is around, I feel it's around the Royals. I feel like it's around the Royal Kardashians. But I'm seeing King Charles. I feel like, um, see, as much as Charles taken a bit of a step back and things like that, and he's pushed Kate and William. Oh, people in London, they've had enough of all this BS and crap that Sushi's been doing. But I feel like Charles is really trying to bring back the rigidness of the royals. He wants it set in stone. He he doesn't want the royals slipping away um, out of people's psyche and and the and people's importance. So I feel like he's he's being much more rigid. I feel like he's bringing back Charles is bringing back a lot of the officialdom in London. He wants the flags changed. He wants um, bigger events around things. He wants to make sure he is on the world stage. This is what I'm getting for London. Your royalness is going to become a lot more rigid again. There'll be um, all the soldiers kind of marching, um, more beef eaters visually around the town of London. I do feel he's wanting to take charge of oh, the little people and peasants. Um, he wants... Um, he wants to get some sort of order back in London, but we know what order it is, the New World Order, but he wants it to be the royal, the royals up here and the peasants down here. He wants to have make a strong stance that he wants people looking up to the royals again, like they did in the olden days when people looked up to the castle, you know. Well, they still kind of do that, don't they, whenever there's an event and they're all standing on the balcony. But he really wants to be um, in the castle looking down on the peasants. He wants to really create that vibe again. He wants to create the vibe of importance. The royals are important and they must stay in society is what I'm getting from... Oh, yes, the king. King Chucky. That's what I'm getting. The royals must stay important. So Chuck is working on that now. So I'm getting this rigid energy in London. Things will be a lot more, well, I guess you could say regimented. There'll be a lot more um, bands and soldier marches and a lot more commemorative kind of events, I feel, because it's very important, and Chucky knows it is, to keep the royals important in people's lives. Um, there has to be this hierarchy. He has to keep the hierarchy stable. That's what I'm getting. That's probably from the Puppet Masters Beyond, but or way back in the background. But that's what I'm getting for Chucky. That's what he's working on now. More in your face in London and more regimented. All right. And it's showing me London Bridge. You know how we often get the London Bridge visuals? Well, I'm getting London Bridge is very stable. It's very strong and it's very stable at the moment. Chucky's feeling very confident over there in the UK, in London. He's feeling very confident that he can create this stability. See, Chucky, he think the royals always think that they bring everyone together, that they're, they're like these heroes that people look up to, that they think they're very brave and they... They bring everyone together. I don't think anyone sees them like that. I think most of us here see them as literally the clown show, Kardashian clown show, um, after the Harry and Meghan and the whole events. But that's how they view themselves. That they they've always viewed themselves as above people. Nothing new there, but he's going to really push that now moving forward. Going to see more pageantry. <laughs> Have fun over there with that. I suppose it's better than seeing Sushi's face talking outside 10 Downing Street all the time. Uh, all right, let's keep going. Oh, I'm getting Papua New Guinea. I've had Papua New Guinea so much on this channel. Whatever is going on in Papua New Guinea, that's the islands at the top of Australia. We know China took over Samoa um, and China's trying to grab things up, so don't be surprised if there's something, but there's a lot of tribal unrest in Papua New Guinea above Australia. Big time. And that could be, you know, about resources too. We wouldn't know because we're kept out of the loop the whole time. But I am getting this tribal conflict and it's very bad in Papua New Guinea. Um, right. Oh, I'm back at Hawaii. <laughs> 
That's so much Hawaii and Maui. I am getting that um, Hawaii's, Hawaiian government has made a huge mistake. See, they didn't realize who they were dealing with. They don't realize that these Hawaiian people are very connected tribally. They're not letting this go. They are at and at the government to find out about the truth of what happened in Maui. This is so brilliant. I love it when people come together like this, but I am getting that. Even though we know a lot of the evidence has kind of gone, I feel like they're just not letting it go. They're seeking legal advice um, from outside sources, um, not from internal. Obviously, you wouldn't go there because of the corruption, but I do feel like in Hawaii, Maui, these, these groups that are committees that are fighting back and coming together, they want the truth. They're sick of um, the lies and the cover-ups and, and the way that people have been treated. They're not letting this go. They're not letting this go. And government is hating it over there. They're hating it because they want it to just <whistles> under the carpet and disappear and shut up people and don't say anything because they don't want the rest of the world waking up to um, all the uh, plans and the blueprints and all the things they're rolling out but they're not letting it go. It's good. And they're seeking legal advice from outside sources, which is good because it means these people outside sources from the mainland or wherever are not connected in any way. So um, they're taking on these battles, which is good. That's lawyers. Lawyers coming in. Yay! Never know. Something might come of it. And at least if any, if nothing else, if, if the truth doesn't ever come out, which we know, Without evidence, it's always very hard. But if nothing else, they may get some monetary compensation. That's what I kind of see down the track. But it might take, you know, could take up to two years. But I do feel that this could be, um, oh, I just feel like it, it could be something that is worth fighting for for the little people. So sad, isn't it? So sad. They're beautiful island just taken... Oh, they're mongrels, these tyrants. Anyway, let's see if there's anything else, and then we'll pull some cards, guys. Oh, I'm getting for us, guys. Sleep is very important to us, guys. I hope you guys are getting sleep. I know a lot of us have really been suffering with back aches, knee, bad knees. We've had all sorts of things on this channel, aches and pains and ailments as we're going through our ascension process. Um, it's really taken a toll on our physical bodies um, because what it's doing is it's making us fine tune our senses. So it's like we're going into a whole different way of living, which I think we all know we are. We're all opening up vibrationally to a whole different frequency. But I'm getting now, sleep is very important to our health. I think we all know that here. We, A lot of us have nana naps. A lot of us have been tired. Um, I told you I'm on that valerian root tea. That's really helping me. I'm sleeping pretty much through the night. Um, do whatever you can to get sleep. Um, it's It's crucial. So sleep is very healing. We've had that before and you need to focus on getting really good quality sleep. I think we even talked about taking your phones and iPads out of your rooms and things like that too, making sure you're not getting those 5G beeps and all that sort of thing. Um, that's really important as well, guys. So sleep is very important to us at the moment. Gosh, the show me, you know, the other day I got that crown of honor. We got given the crown of honor, like the King Arthur crown of honor. Um, and the Knights of the Round Table coming together and everybody. Well, now they're showing me we're getting having a great big feast. We're feasting. Um, we're feasting on the riches of life is what they're saying. But it's all the fresh foods. You know, if you think of a feast back in the day, in the medieval days, um, it was all fresh fruit and vegetables and we're like feasting now. We've discovered, see, we've discovered the simple things of life. And one of the simple things of life, as most of us here know, is gatherings, coming together, sharing, having food, having conversation. You know, a lot of us don't like to be around a lot of people and that's fine. But they're kind of showing me that 
you know, we can do these things now, but we just do it in a different form and a different way. So I'm getting that still that medic, that King Arthur, the crown of honor, and now we're feasting. And I would say we're feasting on our new life too. It's not just about food and coming together with people and like-minded people, that is. Um, it's about enjoying the fruits of your labor is what the quote is that the guides are giving me now, meaning we enjoy, you know, we've we've done the hard yards, we've gone through the, the tough times, and now we can sit back and enjoy the fruits of our labor. Like a lot of us grow our own veggies. Um, a lot of us have created more time in our lives where we we just enjoy being at home. We, we'll pick up a book. We'll, we'll try and learn something off YouTube. We do very, very simple things, and we really enjoy doing those things. So this is why I'm getting that big spot table spread vision of the feast the fruits of our labor is what i'm getting now we can enjoy the fruits of our labor um we we're not on struggle street anymore like we don't have to struggle through our fears of moving forward and oh where's all this going and the jab wheel and this and that we're not there anymore we're not there we're looking at that from afar and we have a laugh here on my channel about it quite regularly as i told you about the new sub variant in south australia be very careful the immortal cv virus is still going around the world um so you know if anything we have a laugh about it so we're not in that all of that anymore we're living free <laughs> we we're living free um the way we choose to live our life um yes sometimes we do have to navigate things there's there's no doubt about that but we can still make choices of how we're going to go about, well, I guess avoiding things, but also not being in the things that kind of government is dishing out. It's like I told you guys, honestly, you've got to go watch that guy's channel. Um, what was it called? M Guy, wasn't it? About the EV cars. Check it out on YouTube. Funny as yes. He talks about all the reality of the EV cars and just how it's not all, you know, rainbows and lollipops so go check that side out it's brilliant so you know we know the goals that they're setting for a lot of their agenda are totally unrealistic it's not going to happen it's just not going to happen anyway so we're enjoying the fruit of our labor meaning we did the hard yards and now we can sit back and enjoy the fruits of our labor that's what i'm getting um, all right, how about we pull some cards, guys? I'm still a bit doughy from my monogram on Saturday, guys. Sorry. I'm still trying to get my channels opened up. <laughs> my channels. Oh, Sophie. How's my doggies? I've always... Hear the tail going? They've always got to be right at my feet. You know that they do. All right, let's pull some Doreen Virtues. It's so windy outside. It's like gale force winds. How many times do we get this, guys? Trust. I think we get this card every week. Trust. We have to trust and allow. Just let it all unfold now. Just be the little steamroller rolling rolling forward. All right, Spot. Always oh, doing a sad face. He's still not great. I'm a bit worried about him, but he is improving. I don't give him bones at all now. He has these really nice raw meat and vegetables dreams. I've had this the other day too. I think dreams also help us to expand a little bit, to be quite honest. Um, dreams kind of go beyond the realm of just the 3D, don't they? And sometimes dreams give you messages too. I think be open-minded when it comes to dreaming. We daydream a lot. I often talk about that too, guys, don't I? Healing. How many times? You do know I shuffle these cards, don't you? <laughs> How many times have we had this in the last few weeks? See, healing. Do whatever you can to help yourself, guys. Keep moving yourself forward. And if that means having a sleep, like a net -a nap like I said just before, sleep is very important to us. Healing of any sort. I always tell you I do those Paul McKenna hypnosis videos for like 20 minutes. They're really good. They're like having a power snooze. I love Paul McKenna. He's in the UK, I think. 
There's probably other ones out there too. Let's pull a healing angel card. Mm. Oh my doggos. Even they're wrecked. They don't like the wind either. Wind when it's really, really windy is very irritating, isn't it? Winds kids up and all that, doesn't it? Heart and soul. When making your decision, take into account what your heart and soul are saying. Sometimes the mind can deceive us. Choose through love, not fear. Confirmation right there, guys. Hang on, let's get up. And that's what we've had to do, isn't it? Choose through love, not fear. We don't want to choose through the fear vibration. We want to choose through the, the love feeling vibration. Sometimes your mind can deceive us. Take into account what your heart and mind, heart and soul are saying when making decisions, which is, of course, the gut instincts, what you're sensing, what you're feeling, what you're knowing. We know that's how we have to live now, guys, isn't it? All right, let me see if there's one more thing to close with today. Getting that in excess song. To be clear, black and white, make a decision. Gotta let it go, and I don't know why. A strong feeling grows and grows. One day, my life is out the door. Next day, you know in what it's for. Um, getting that song by in excess, black and white. Mm -hmm. I'm getting this song. What is with all the black? This is weird. Maybe because it's Halloween. I'm getting this song by Pearl Jam. Black. Oh, that is one of my favorite songs, Black, by Pearl Jam. I know a lot of you guys love Pearl Jam out there. I'm getting that song as well. Hang on a minute. Let's see where else we go. Give me a Midnight Oil song. I was trying to get which one it is. Hang on. Out where the river grows, blood wood, and the desert oaks, holding wrecks and bodies all, steam at 45 degrees. The time has come to save this fair, to pay the price, to pay our share. Oh, it's beds are burning, isn't it? How can we laugh when our beds are burning? Yeah, that's by me, not all. Oh, I'll see if there's one more song, guys, to finish off. Let's get a song for us today. But I am getting those three songs. I don't know what it is about. The Black, maybe Halloween. Beds are burning. I don't know. Um, sometimes we just get given music here. Sometimes it means something to you or something. It's about. Sometimes it's about the vibration, guys, and frequency. Just let me see if there's one more thing. I don't know if you can hear that wind outside. It's so windy. I'm just getting Madonna. 
Have you guys seen the latest film clip of Madonna on Clown Planet? You gotta go check it out. Stop it. It's just getting ridiculous. It is. It's pretty funny. I'm getting that song by Madonna. I love Madonna in her heyday. I still love her, but you know. I don't know if I'd go see a concert though. She's not getting any younger, is she? Um I'm getting that. If I live to tell the secrets I knew well to burn. I will burn inside of me if I live to tell. Is that the, what the song's called? I don't know. But we're going to tell our story one day, aren't we, here and here, guys? We always talk about writing our book, um, Escape from Clown World and Journey to Terror Bella. And, boy, we're going to have some stories to tell, aren't we, guys? <laughs> well, I'm going to leave you with that Madonna song today, If I Live to Tell the Secrets or whatever that song's called. <laughs> All right, I'm going to say goodbye from me and the dog, guys. I've got Sophie here. I'll try and show you them. Sophie, oh, ladylike. That's Sophie. There she is there. Sophie. So that's Sophie laying down, being with. There's the tail. Oh, sorry about the private bits. And there's Sprocket over there snoring. There he is. Oh. He's not well, guys. Is he? All right. Well, that's it from me. That's it from the dog eyes. And I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to love you and leave you. Hit the like buttons, guys. Subscribe if you'd like to. And please feel free to comment down below. I get back to you as soon as I can. That's if YouTube gives me your comments. Fingers crossed they do. Took me about five goes to even load that video yesterday. They're not making it easy for me to put videos on either, guys. So, oh, it was very frustrating. But anyway, we get there in the end. So, take care. Have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.